Pat Hammett of Hammett Guitar Co. I make handcrafted retro-inspired electric guitars. I've been handcrafting electric guitars for 12 years now, but my obsession with music and tone started from a very young age. Growing up, we, we were a very musical family. There were always instruments about the house, music was always playing. My brother Ollie, I was fortunate enough to train at the Royal College of Music in London. That music just permeated my life from a young age. The Seattle grunge was played constantly in the house, and I think that was my sort of introduction to the dirtier side of rock and roll. And my mum would play those old folk records and old blues records. As you delve into the history of what they were playing and how they were playing it and the equipment that they used, they were using affordable instruments, American-made. There's a point in, in the history of guitar manufacture that's largely deemed the golden era, and that's late 50s, 60s. A small handful of guitar manufacturers in Chicago. As they were in competition with each other, they were just pushing the boundaries of shapes, color schemes, electronics. They were just, there was something about that period in guitar manufacture that, that was just, it was just really out there. I specialize in retro-inspired guitars, and I'm someone who is quite obsessed by tone and the sound of an instrument. My ethos is to take that style of guitar and rework it for like a modern musician. I think if you pick up a guitar, you instantly know whether it's something you want to pick up again. They have, you know, it has a soul to it and a feel to it. And, and, and also there's a geometry to getting a guitar to play right, you know, and to feel comfortable. What really turns me on about making guitars is just the experimentation. It's the design in each one. So when someone commissions a guitar, they can specify anything from the timbers to the trim. So I've got a couple of different pistol profiles that you can choose from. My guitars, they're, you know, they're all handcrafted, so they're all customizable. So you, you, know, you have a particular shape, or you can flip the shape. Other than that, nothing is standard, so you can specify everything. And that's what I enjoy most, when a, when a customer comes to me, wants a guitar commission, but isn't quite sure of the final thing, and you, know, you can go through it, everything. Some of my first questions are, what bands do you like, what guitarists do you like, what music do you listen to? If their favourite guitarist plays a particular kind of guitar, you understand the styles that they like. It's quite easy to choose colour schemes and bindings and trim, all the final sort of touches to make the guitar. When I was in my, my mid-twenties, I had a quite a profound trip in the US. I went train hopping for a summer. I travelled the whole country. At the end of my trip in LA, I went to this guitar shop called Caveman Music. On the wall was hanging this like beautiful old silver tone 1429 and it had three pickups on it. I'd never seen a guitar before that had three pickups and these particular type of pickups were called gold foils. Now the originals were made by a company called Rao Industries and that I think was really the catalyst for me. These pickups were like single coiled, they were really lively, really responsive and microphonic as well. So. Even though they were magnets that were picking up the strings, a large part of the tone from these pickups came from the sound chamber in, in the guitars. They encompassed everything I loved about blues music, rock and roll. They were wild, slightly unpredictable, and they go into every single one of my electric guitars. Quite microphonic. They got, so they pick up, as much as they pick up the strings moving, they're picking up the, the chamber of the guitar. I guess I try and put into my guitars, there's a little bit in there that's a little bit unknown, a little bit unpredictable. Quite popular at the moment is reverse shapes, so if there's a guitar shape that's quite traditional, like a cutaway, single cutaway, flip it, you know, it's a little bit more unusual, people have to sort of step back and question what it is. It just uh, adds a little bit more intrigue to the final thing. The more years I do it, I've realised that the boutique guitar industry is actually quite conservative. They like trad shapes, they like telly shapes, strat shapes. Some of my shapes are actually quite out there. They're not for everyone, but um, it's never been my plan to be a guitar factory. I mean, each and every one of my guitars has a different character, has a different personality. You know, there's, there's something different in all of those instruments and they all sound wildly different. And that's what sets me aside from other guitar producers. A long time ago, I was inspired to pick up a guitar because of the music that I was listening to. 
and my hope is that I make guitars inspire others to do the same.